Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we've got two more stories from Aesop's Fable. Now remember, Aesop was a famous slave back in ancient Greece over 2,000 years ago who wrote lots of stories. Our first one today is called The Wolf and the Kid. Now this is not a kid like a little human. Kid also is a word that refers to a baby goat. So this is the story about a wolf and a baby goat. There was once a little kid whose growing horns made him think he was a grown-up billy goat <coughs> and able to take care of himself. <coughs> so one evening, when the flock started home from the pasture and his mother called, the kid paid no heed and kept on nibbling the tender grass. A little later, when he lifted his head, the flock was gone. He was all alone. The sun was sinking, and long shadows crept across the ground. A chilly little wind came creeping on them, making scary noises in the grass. The kid shivered as he thought about the terrible wolf. Ooh. Then he started wildly over the field, ah, ah, bleeding for his mother. But not halfway, near a clump of trees, there was the wolf. The kid knew there was little hope for him. Meanwhile, the flock was moving slowly homeward. In the still evening air, the wolf's piping, Ow! carried far. The shepherd dogs pricked up their ears. They recognized the song the wolf sings before a feast. And in a moment, they were racing back to the pasture. The wolf song ended suddenly. And as he ran with the dogs at his heels, he called himself a fool for turning piper to please a kid when he should have stuck to his butcher's trade. <laughs> the moral of our story, do not let anything turn you from your purpose. For our second story, we have another wolf story. This one is called The Shepherd Boy and the Wolf. A shepherd boy tended his master's sheep in a dark forest not far from their village. Soon, he found life in the pasture very dull. All he could do to amuse himself was talk to his dog or play on his shepherd's pipe. One day, as he sat watching the sheep in the quiet forest and thinking, hmm, what he would do should he actually see a wolf, he thought of a plan to amuse himself. His master had told him to call for help should a wolf attack the flock, and the villagers would drive it away. So now, though he had not seen anything that looked like a wolf, he ran towards the village shouting at the top of his voice, Wolf! Wolf! As he expected, the villagers who heard the cry dropped all their work and ran in great excitement to the pasture. But when they got there, they found the boy <laughs> doubled up with laughter at the trick he had played on them. Hmm. A few days later, the shepherd boy again shouted, Wolf! Wolf! And again, the villagers ran to help him, only to be laughed at. Then, one evening, as the sun was setting behind the forest and the shadows were creeping out over the pasture, a wolf really did spring from the underbrush and fall upon the sheep. In terror, the boy ran towards the village, shouting, Wolf! Wolf! But though the villagers heard the cry, they did not run to help him as they had before. He cannot fool us again, they said. And the wolf killed a great many of the boy's sheep and then slipped away into the forest. And the moral of our story is that liars are not believed even when they speak the truth. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our two Aesop's fables, and until our next video, happy story time!